What's this? Oh yeah, arena. Don't care. I don't have a niffler. Let's go get a niffler. I would like one of those. Go with my kneesel. 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 No K. Oh, you're all right there. Hi. Shh. Oh, you're brown. I want a classic colored one. Professor Howard will never believe this. Yeah, he will. She will. Excuse me. Rebellion. I don't know who yelled at me, but okay. Merlin Trial. Let me change my quest because it wants me to go back to the thing and I don't want to. Where we go? This way. I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. In where? I don't know. Well, what is that? Oh, that's the Merlin trial. Also, what the heck? Uh. uh no, Confringo, not Defendo. Confringo. And then that'll work. At least it should work. And then we can open this. Well, let's fly, because that's a lot easier. Figure out where these things are. Oh, right behind you. Um, nope. Nope. How many did you hide from me, Merlin, and where? That's a thing. There's one. Okay, I see... Oh. I see three more. And there's a bunch of people with the other two. Can I get up here? Will you let me land here? No, you suck. <laughs> Fine, I guess I'll land here. Confringo! Alright, I don't want to, but I do need to kill wolves as part of my challenge thing. I apparently also need to defeat goblins as part of my challenge thing. Alright, and then there's people up here. And I am not going to get on my broom and fly straight into them because I don't think that would be a good idea. There were people up here. Did they go away? Confringo. Nope, they're still here. Oh! You're that kind of enemy. Frick! Oh, I could have... There we go. Oh, that still doesn't let you hurt them. Oh, there we go. Confringo came back. I'm like, I don't want to switch triangles. Too bad I don't have to fight in Fury anymore. Where's the last one? Here it is. Confringo. There we go. Looks like that better be the last one. There were five of them. Done. Here. 
We're almost there, Sev. <laughs> sure, Sev. I'll be right over. Stops at every landmark along the way. Sorry, there were bandits and... Merlin trials and I wanted a Niffler. He's really cute. I'll let you pet him. <laughs> <laughs> He's a pleasant surprise. I haven't marked this one. Um. Leviosa. No? Frick, why don't I remember what to do with any of these? Oh, that's okay. I just need to break you? I basic cast you. Okay. Rebellion. Oh, there's way more here than I thought there'd be. Revelio. Oh, that's it. I was expecting there to be more hidden somewhere. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 where are you leading me? Here we go! Rebellion. Oh, I saw something... what is that? Oh, something to bring us something too, okay. We'll get there. Oh, there's trolls! I wasn't expecting that. There's one. Oh, there's the other one. Let me get that one before I go fight a troll. These things, I still don't know what they do, but I will figure it out. One of these days. Can I just go in and get it, and then I'll fight the troll? That. I think I'm out of uh, cabbages. Landing. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, no. Land! Do I have cabbages? I have one left. That's fine. One cabbage is, is, is helpful. Help. I want to try this. Angles are a problem. There we go. One less 
foul hulking brute. Ooh. Oh, okay, that's them eating it. I was like, oh, did I do that? <laughs> They're intelligent enough to build homes and a bed. Probably leave them alone. They have a right to live. <laughs> they are right next to a town, though. I could see that being a problem. Stuff, stuff, stuff that I need for you. There we go. Your thing's up here somewhere. There it is. Oh, well, you were supposed to go up higher. Come to me. Come to me. Come higher. There you go. And you need Incendio, which is here. What did that open up? I legit don't know what that opened up. There's a bag here. Chest here. What is this blue thing? What's the point of that? I mean, I realize I could knock it down, but why? That open up something this way? That looks like something behind a locked door. I mean, it's definitely not open. I don't think I can grab that. Yeah. That's gotta be inside and tied to that. What did I open? I think it's tied to that? Oh! Hello. Is that what I opened? I don't know. I don't know what I did. There we go. I opened a door. It does help to actually know where the blocked room is before you unblock it, doesn't it? Maybe that was it. I don't know. I legit have no idea. Oh, I think it was that. I think it was this. I think it was this. That makes way more sense. I should investigate. Yeah, it's just gonna be close. You know it's just gonna be close. And yet, and yet, they draw you in every single time. So can you truly say that it's pointless? I don't know. Alright. I believe those are the things we wanted to complete before talking to uh, Sebastian and Anne. There's a whole bunch of Merlin trials I guess we can hit on our way out. Oh, and we never got this. All right, we need to do that. That needs to happen. What's down here? Uh, Mooncalf. We got Mooncalves. Cool. Well, let's go talk to Seth. I'm ready to go talk to Seth. I want the zoom. Thank you. Oh, what the frick? Oh, those are... I was like, who's attacking Feldcroft? Revelia. I saw it. Where is it? It lit up! Okay. <laughs> there we go. I thought Ranrock goons were attacking or something. I was like, what? What's going on? What's lighting up in here? Scroll? Piece of paper? A letter from Sebastian to his sister Anne. I think we've read this one. Yeah, we've read that one. Why don't they go away? Hi, Anne. I'm gonna come see you in a minute. But I apparently have to meet your brother first, I think. Wait. Hey. You made it. I did. You should be out of your Hogwarts uniform. Enjoying the view? Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. 
No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. Are goblins forbidden from carrying wands? Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. Does she not this know way. what happened to her? In, in the sense that she can't explain it to you? Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. We've said hello before. She just hasn't answered back. Aha! Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never! I can never accept it. Now look what you've done. I'm sorry. Leave. What happened? I'm sorry you had to see that. What happened? If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. Sebastian, I have shrivel figs. I have a, a whole butt ton of them. I need to leave you alone. What happened? That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes. Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. You don't... He doesn't know when to stop. He's just trying to help he his He thinks sister. he can help Anne. Oh, but nothing can be done for her. Are you sure? It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the Loyalist's way. Is it cruel, though? Like, how does Anne feel about it? Yeah, hope can be a good thing, but it's really, like, it's up to Anne. If Anne thinks it's cruel, then I get it, but... With all due respect, sir, hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne no. and Sebastian. No. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. You're bringing... I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. Being worried about harm is valid, but they're old enough to make their own decisions. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. That's not anything for you to apologize about. Are you all right, Anne? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly, it's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh dear, Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother, and me, in line. <sighs> I do miss Hogwarts. 
But I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cosy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. So she wants him to stop looking. Okay. Yeah. I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, that's... I wish you well. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. That's her decision. Like, it is... There may be a cure out there that nobody has any knowledge of. I've already picked this up, but I'm gonna pick it up anyway, because it's sitting here. Um, you know, who knows? But it's, it's not necessarily helpful to keep looking. And if she wants him to stop, that's valid. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. You're both talking over each other. Stop it. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance of what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. You, you are both <laughs> talking over each other. He's trying... He was... Both of these are true. The way... <sighs> both of these are true. The way he didn't express what he's trying to express very well. I know he's angry, but he's only trying to do what he thinks is best for Anne. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. That's understandable. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow. I don't think that's or he's true. he's calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Oh my. Oh, there's Anne a lot of grief here. <laughs> so much more than people realize. Ooh. They should not be underestimated. You guys need some family therapy. You and your uncle need to have family therapy. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. Oh. They've been digging for something. Your uncle's upset because he lost... He... Did you stop to think why he's angry oh. since your parents died, Sebastian? Did you think about it? Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. You think maybe he calls you your father's son because... He's grieving. I'm not saying that that's valid. I'm just saying that I'm not sure it's a personal insult to you. How much longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. I want to hear the thing. Is a dead wizard in my book. Okay. Dialogue over. <gasps> We're, we got companion fights. <laughs> I won't rest. Nice one. No comment. Potato. Oh. I do think it's weird that his uncle, like, doesn't even want to investigate or go off after the goblins. Like, even if you can't cure her, isn't that... Wouldn't you still want... Oh, there's hippogriffs up there! 
I can't, I can't. I'm, I'll be veering from the quest path and it'll yell at me. Okay, we'll come back and get the hippogriffs. I doubt that. Seems your art isn't in this at all. Why would you say that? It's only childish when I'm beating you up. Ooh. I don't have any yellow for you. Hold on. Frick, I gotta remember how to switch triangles again. <laughs> Not what I wanted. Did we get them all? Are we done? You're still alive. I confess. That was a Are you stuck? I bargained for. <laughs> okay. I tried to warn you. Hey, it's fine. Where'd you go? That way? All right, can I pick some stuff up? Is it gonna yell at me for veering too far from you? Can I put this back together? I don't know why I would want to, but it, it's making it look like. Okay. I can do that. That's a thing I can do. <laughs> Where you at, Seth? What's up? Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelt smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. Children should be seen and not heard? I don't... Seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? We know they were looking they for something. They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. Rebellion. Are we... I'm not sure the goblins cursed her. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Yes, I have seen them. Literally everywhere. So the ministry isn't doing more? That, that is a question that I have had. You're not going to let me fly around, are you? Nope. Whose home was this? A bit abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. Mm -hmm. But that's all I ever heard. Revelia. We do know a Rookwood. Oh. You 
want me to interact with this thing? Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Is there anything of the house left? Oh, over here. Hold on, there's something in here. Oh? Sebastian, over here. Do you think this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Where are you? Huh? Oh, must be maybe on the other side. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Rebellion. Oh. There is something down there. Maybe I can't because we're in a quest or something. This well looks familiar. Oh, this is the well that we saw? Sebastian, I've seen this before. The house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Wait, it lit up. Now it's not lit up. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganock. She was one of the Keepers. The Keepers? Like in Quidditch? No. And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves Keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It all has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who <laughs> was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. Sounds about right. If I didn't know you, I'd think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it? When you put it like that. The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. I already found it! Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Huh, a stairwell. I don't like this. I don't like this at Why all. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There oh, might be no. something here worth a closer look. <laughs> They've left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me there are something bigger. Gotcha. Bigger. Lumos. Were they trying to figure out secrets of? It? Oh, oh no. It's my second week in the camp. More arrive each day. The muggle doctors and even some of our own healers are doing all they can for them. The grief is palpable. The ones who have survived the plague are forever damaged by their loss. A fever may pass, the skin may mend and scar, but the devastating sorrow remains. I saw a man much like my father who'd lost a child. I couldn't bear it. I longed to give him some shred of relief. I'm beginning to think the others are wrong. I have the power to help these souls. It seems as arbitrary not to help them as it would be to rid them of their torment. Mm, the plague. When, when was the plague? Oh, okay, we don't know how old this is. So this is the 1800s. There's a plague in the 1300s. If we think that's the time frame. Journal entry of Isadora's. I should hold on to this. Yeah, I don't like this. Something happened here. Traveled here to learn, but I long to help. My internal struggle is overwhelming. It's as though the magic wants to heal, and I am the one preventing it from doing so. Should I lose hope? Will I forever regret not having done more? I cannot look into their eyes knowing I could lessen the burden of heartache. 
I saw the man leaving camp today, the one who reminded me of my father. Surely it wouldn't hurt to help him. I could further my research, of course, but that would be a fortuitous consequence of doing something good with this ability. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. So... Revenia. Just, can I get back here? I don't like this! Lumos. Nothing about this feels good. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. No, no, no. Come look at this. I know it sounds strange, Honestly, but... nothing you say sounds strange <laughs> to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall. As though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it, and that you couldn't wield it. That's true, and I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can, but perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. Why would I'm it- I'm tempted to hold my breath. Why would it lead to the Undercroft? What the heck's in the Undercroft? Ugh, I don't like you creeping toward me. <laughs> Is she related to the Gaunt somehow? Isadora, is she related to the Gaunt family? Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. He can't see that. Oh, okay. I was like, he can't see the wispy thing in the air. <laughs> Only you can. <laughs> hmm? Something used to be there. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. Yeah, there's a whole a thing look. missing. Let's have a look. What's this? A rune diagram. All right, I recognize the ancient magic symbol. Anything helpful in the note? No. Something we should maybe show Fig. A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the Keepers. I've been thinking. A Keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. Yeah. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Why Did you I need mention to see that apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. So... I guess, yeah, the goblins are looking to uncover and wield ancient magic? That would make sense. I assume Anne was cursed by dark magic. I have... I don't feel like the goblins did that to her, though. Meet me near the ruins of Falbatton <gasps> Castle. Nazi! After dark, do not tell anyone. You got any more owls? It's just Natty. Okay. I can't go back to where I was, which means I can't get those hippogriffs. <laughs> 